The Batman was looking for the bomb, and if he didn't find it in time, the whole Gotham is gonna be destroyed. Meanwhile, the Suicide Squad was looking for Kane to get the drive, but they couldn't find it. That's when Deadshot knew they were double-crossed. Batman shows up, faced Black Spider and Captain Boomerang, threw some explosive, and the place started to fall, so they ran away. But then, Black Spider came out with Batman's belt. So, what happened? Is Batman dead? What about the bomb? And who double-crossed the Suicide Squad? Well, there's a lot, so stick around to find out. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Our story begins with Riddler saying some riddles to Amanda Waller. He thought he was wasting her time to keep her busy, but turns out she's the one keeping him busy till her forces get to his location. Before they arrest him, Batman shows up, beats them up, and he grabbed the Riddler asking him where it is. Amanda was furious because of what happened. She connected someone and told him to assemble Task Force X. Task Force X was a bunch of highly dangerous criminals working for the government for many reasons. One, they can be easily replaced. Two, they get killed if they're arrested or gone wild by the bomb behind their neck. Last and most important one, they are highly skilled with superpowers. This Task Force X, aka Suicide Squad she mentioned, consists of Killer Frost, King Shark, Black Spider, Captain Boomerang, KJ Beast, our dearest Harley Quinn, and finally, Deadshot. They all wake up in a room asking about what happened to them. That's when Amanda entered to inform them about their mission, and it was, they're gonna break into Arkham Asylum. If they succeed, she will cut off some of their time from their sentence, run away, get themselves captured, or disobey any order, she will blow their head off by the bomb behind their neck. KG Beast didn't believe a word from what she said, so she told him to leave if he wanted to. But as soon as he stepped outside the room, his head was blown. Amanda started to tell them about the details. A week ago, Riddler managed to hack her computer, and he downloaded a file containing the identity of every current, past, and potential members of Suicide Squad, and threatens to release them on the internet, and they're gonna get it back. That file is from the drive in Riddler's cane. Their biggest concern is Batman, so Amanda told them he's working on another case. Then we see them tied in some chains, and when the signal comes off, they find themselves falling from a plane, and finally, they're in Gotham. They had to move through the sewer, cause they can't take the risk if Batman saw them. They first go to the Iceberg Lounge to meet the Penguin, cause he's the one who will get them the papers, and the tech they need to sneak into the asylum. When the Penguin saw Harley, he lift a gun to kill her, cause her and Mr. J stole a truck from him, and they threw it off a bridge just for fun. Luckily, Deadshot managed to calm things down, so Penguin gave them the paper and a place to sleep for the night. They hit the bar after they gear up, and we see Amanda talking to Killer Frost cause she has a special and secret mission for her. Next day, they start their mission. Harley goes to a toy shop to steal. Then Batman shows up asking her where did she put it. Of course, he means Joker and the bomb. She told him she doesn't know where Mr. J puts his stuff and by measuring her heart rate, he knew she is telling the truth. The cops arrive, so he handed her and told them to put her into the asylum. When she arrives in the police car, the driver was dead shot, and they successfully managed to get in safe. Meanwhile, Boomerang was entering with a body bag containing Killer Frost. She managed to lower her body temperature to fool the guards she's dead, but they didn't find that delivery in the system. At the same time, Black Spider was getting in by disguising as one of the kitchen staff, but also the system could read his card. Harley and Deadshot pass by Joker's cell in their way. Apparently, the last time she saw him was when he left her to die after beating her to death. So, she stole Deadshot's gun and tried to kill him, but the wall was bulletproof, so she aimed at him from one of the openings and the bullet bounced over the walls, managing to crack some of the metals. While keeping the guards in the Joker busy, Deadshot managed to hack into the system to let his teammates in. They team up, went to the basement to let Shark in with their gears. They first went to the security room to turn off the cams, but Deadshot told them if they shut it off, Batman will know something is wrong. So strangely, Shark told him about his brilliant idea, and that was to play the footage of yesterday, and that will make them work little freely without Amanda's watch. On their way to the intensive treatment building, they came across a few guards, so Deadshot and Boomerang finished them off, but one of them managed to call for backup and the fight with security begins. Meanwhile, Batman was doing his superhero stuff, 
and when he got to the Batmobile, he found the alert from the asylum, and in about 5 seconds, he figured the trick, so he headed off to the asylum. When the squad got into the building, Harley was working here, so she knew the password and they headed to search for the Riddler's cane. While Harley went to the Joker stuff to find her hammer, Deadshot found a cane. That's when Batman broke in and started to beat them all. The only one matched for him for a couple of minutes was Shark, but Batman managed to bring him down eventually. Boomerang shot some explosives, but Batman managed to dodge, but the place started to fall, so they all ran away except Batman and Black Spider, who were facing each other. After they got out, they see Spider coming out with Batman's belt. So did Black Spider really manage to defeat Batman? Also, when they took a look at the drive, it wasn't there. That's when they noticed Killer Frost is missing, and she was in front of Riddler's cell. Amanda ordered her to kill him, and she was gonna do it. No questions, but Riddler begins to play with her mind. He asks her, do you know why she wants to kill me? And then he answers, cause he's the only one who knows how to defuse them, and he means the bombs behind their neck. Meanwhile, in his cell, Joker found the opening in his cell wall, played with some wires, and somehow, the doors open. The squad arrived to Riddler's cell, and it was empty. Amanda calls Deadshot, cause he didn't check in, and she asked him why there's an alert in the medical center. He told her they come across with Batman, and he don't know anything about the alert. And after she hang up, he made Harley take them to the medical center. Killer Frost and Riddler were surrounded by guards, but when the others arrived and Riddler told them he knows how to defuse the bomb, they decided to go with him. Shark with Killer Frost managed to defeat the guards, and they went to the clinic. Riddler told them he can defuse the bomb through the electric shock. Meanwhile, we see Batman alive struggling to go somewhere. All of them sits and Spider kept an eye on the window to know the situation they're in. Riddler sent 10,000 volts to their bodies and they start shaking and the only one nuts was of course Harley cause she wanted another ride but the best part was he indeed managed to defuse the bombs. Meanwhile, the Joker suited up again and he found Batman in his way. Amanda felt something is wrong, so she turned the bombs on and unluckily, Shark's body was too strong, so he needs an extra charge, but they couldn't do it in time, so he's dead. But the strange thing was Black Spider, cause he's still in one piece. And that, my dears, was the Batman. Cause Joker was timing to kill Batman when his head exploded. He was thinking his gun did this, but he's nuts anyway. Riddler immediately started to shoot Batman, and he turned the shocking device by accident. Batman brought him down, freed Deadshot, and asked him why they are here, so he told him about Amanda. But their conversation is cut off by the Joker. Because of the shots and the explosions, Batman took off from the window, and the others managed to free themselves and ran away. They met Joker in their way, and Harley was happy to see him free. Well, woman just pick a side, love him or hate him. Anyway, Joker wanted to kill Deadshot, but it was a little hard, so he took off with Harley. After that, Joker took Harley's hammer, opened it, and that's when we see the bomb, and Joker says, it's time for the Big Bang. Meanwhile, Deadshot was arguing with Boomerang when Batman showed up, asking Deadshot about the Joker. They see Joker on the asylum screens, telling them about the bomb, and they can try and stop him, but of course, their mission won't be easy because Joker released every single prisoner in the asylum. Harvey Dent, Bane, Poison Ivy, and a lot of others facing the police, the guards, and the Batman. The squad couldn't care less about the bomb, and the only thing in their mind is to get out of its range. Deadshot found a helicopter, and he was the only one to get in, but as soon as he turns it on and flies with it, the Joker attacked him from behind with Harley and pointed a gun to his head. Meanwhile, Batman was facing Bane and he managed to defeat him quickly by pulling the pipe supporting him with his drugs and left the rest for Gordon and his men and headed to where the Joker is. Joker was fighting Deadshot and Harley found herself driving the helicopter. Batman shows up and the helicopter crashed on one side of the building. Batman managed to save Harley and took her hammer, took the bomb and started to defuse it. Meanwhile, in the upper floor, Deadshot was facing the Joker. Joker had the upper hand and managed to stab Deadshot many times in his abdomen, the back and the chest. And I wonder how he managed to stay alive. But finally, Deadshot managed to throw him in the helicopter and pushed it to fall and Joker fell with it to his death while laughing his usual evil laugh. And Batman finally managed to defuse the bomb. Then we see him going to speak to Amanda about what she did 
because she knows about the bomb and that's why she sent the suicide squad. She told him they couldn't find the Joker's body and he can't do anything about what she did because she's in the government. So he just warned her and left. When Batman leaves, Amanda found a red dot pointing to her head and that was Deadshot doing a final mission with his daughter and this mission was killing Amanda. And that's when the movie ends. Thanks for watching. See you soon and goodbye.